Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a radiator off a wall for decorating behind. I've got quite a bit of work at the back of that radiator, a little bit of filling on the top there. And there is minimal gap, as you can see, between the radiator and the wall. So I'm going to drop this radiator without draining the system and prepare and paint emulsion at the back of the radiator so as you can see we've got the lock shield valves on here we've got the flow on that side and the return on that side so first of all i'm going to start by turning the valves off closing the valves take that all the way to the side you can see that's approximately half a turn just to make a note of that, which I'll explain later. Move to the other side. Again, what is the knob off the flow? Let's try this with the camera, holding the camera at the same time. So I'm going to close that valve and let's have a look. As we can see, we're just slightly over half a turn. Close that. Now you must remember those settings because these radiators will all be balanced so that they heat up at the same time and they all heat up so there's no cold spots on the radiator so it might be easy just to mark the position on the valves but we're just over half a turn on there and we're approximately half a turn on the other side Right. Now what I'm going to do now, so I can get my spanner down there, is gently flick the side up, holding the camera, there we go, flip that up, lift that off. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want to mark the radiator size casings on this style of radiator with my spanner, so we just lift that off. Go to the other side, do the same thing, up and then just lift it out. Put that to one side, this gives me access to those nuts on the bottom. Now what I always do, I just put a dust sheet, as we're working on the site, I just put a dust sheet in front of the radiator just to take the weight of the radiator on the bottom end, just so we don't put any unnecessary strain on those pipes. I don't want to twist those pipes, cause them any stress whatsoever. So, you'll note that we've got the dust sheet down to protect these carpets. If you haven't, I'll suggest that you get some cloths, rags, put something down there to protect the carpets in case you get any weepage, but we'll only be slackening this again roughly half a turn so I'm just gonna gently unscrew that just to give myself enough room to pivot that radiator down and the same on the other side roughly half a turn that's all it needs all it needs Right, now as I'm on my own, on this job, I mean it's a lot easier with two people, I definitely recommend two people, but as I'm on my own, we shall have to suffice, let's just move on to the next stage. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the camera up on a bit of a tripod, I'm going to lift that radiator up slightly so it's off the brackets and then tilt it forward keeping it to the back of the wall so just let me set you up on a tripod now another thing to say you'll notice I've got a pair of gloves on when I do this there are can be sharp edges on the back of the radiators on the new radiators and you can tend to cut your hands so I always wear thick gloves so let's get on with that. So, lift it up off the brackets, 
Keep the weight on the bottom. So you don't strain those pipes and just lower it to the ground. And we'll tighten those lock nuts up at the bottom. Let's just move there so you can see that. The adjustable spine on there. Tighten that up, just tweak it up. Doesn't need to be over tight. You see there's nothing coming out of that at all. I'll just tweak that up. Same on the other side. Just tweak that up. Don't over tighten it. There we go. Make sure that's distributed the weight. And there we have it. Now, one thing I will add, while your radiator's off, check your brackets. You also notice, got these anti-rattle strips on there. Now, sometimes when you lift them off, anti-vibration, anti-rattle strips, they can actually come off with the radiator. See that one there, it's gone a little bit deformed, but it's still okay. Um, I always keep a few handy just in case you know it's missing any or if you haven't got any now's a good time to actually fit them you just clip on just slide them in the top and lift on the radiator so while well, it's off another good little job that you can get on with we need to give this a light sanding and get some emulsion on it so there we have it all ready to go and to put it back exactly the same but in reverse slacken them nuts at the bottom lift it on tighten them up remember your positions of your valves for the radiator balancing and away you go so i hope this video has been of help to somebody and i appreciate it if you, if you did like the video if you would give it a thumbs up and also, please consider subscribing. Thank you.